Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Tundra Mission. Today we have a mission, and that is to figure out how to use the dash cam, the integrated dash cam that came with this new Toyota Tundra. It's sitting right up here, and we're going to jump right in. First off, there is an app, I believe, that you have to download. It looks like this, and this is on an iPhone. If you have an Android, well, you're on your own. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I've already downloaded it. So now I'm going to get out of there and we're going to go to the app. We're going to pull it up. And I've gotten to this point right here. It says, turn on dash cam Wi-Fi. Now that should be, I believe, this button right here. But before we get to that, we have to go ahead, start the truck up, I think. We're kind of winging this, playing it by ear. A little bit of research and maybe a little bit of luck. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get the radio off. I'm sure it's going to blast on here any minute. Eh, maybe not. All right, ah, there we go. Let's get that off. You know, copyright problems. So, first off, the webcam or dash cam is on. Now, it says press and hold the Wi-Fi button for two seconds. So let's do that. One, two. All right, it's flashing, continue. Uh, let's see, important notice, default password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay, that's okay. It says, press the button below to open settings and select the network Toyota integrated dash cam. After connecting your camera's dash cam, please return to the Toyota integrated dash cam app. All right, so we're gonna do that. So we're gonna go to select Wi-Fi, we're gonna go to Wi-Fi, and then we're gonna hit this Toyota integrated dash cam. And the password, as it mentioned. Sorry, the network is currently busy. Please try again. Okay, apparently my phone is connected to my radio. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Join. Looks like it's joining. That's a good thing. And it is joined. No internet connection. Well, whatever. It told me to return to the app, so we're going to do that. All right. Uh, let's see. Would like to find and connect to devices. You want to allow that. And then it says select Wi Fi, which I've done there. Okay. Now I'm going to go back here, I guess. There we go. It's connected. So now I can hit done. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Don't care about that. Hit OK. Change password for your own data. We'll do that later. Now. Oh, I have to do that now. Well, let me pause a quick second and I'm going to enter a password. Now I'm not going to show you guys my password and then we'll come back on. All right. I've set the password. It has to be 8 to 12 numbers. So I've done that. And this is what the screen looks like that we have. So, I'm curious what I do now. Uh, I don't know what has happened up there. Uh, but we're going to hit this live view. I want to see if it shows anything. It says it's connecting. I thought we were connected already. Drag to connect. Alright, well, dash cam not connected. Settings. Uh, I guess we have to select it again after setting the password. Uh, actually, the Wi-Fi is not on, so I'm going to hold this down again for two seconds. There, now it's on. So I'm going to go back to the dash cam. It says it's connecting. I'm hoping this is just because I had to set the password. So it's spinning. We'll see if it connects. Not connected. Settings, dash cam, it should connect. I don't know why it wouldn't. Incorrect password. All right, I have to enter the password and I'm guessing it's the one I just changed to, right? So let me do that.
join. All right, I've hit join and it beeped at me for some reason. So I'm guessing it is now going to connect. All right, it took a minute, but it is connected. Let's hit live view. I'm curious to see if it shows me anything. Should show me that Tacoma sitting in front right there, right? And it does. Awesome. So I am now connected, I guess. Let's get out of this. And it's got settings, info, browse, download, blah, blah, blah. What happens if I push this? Nothing. So if I go to live view, let's say, and let's get that back up again. Now I want to hit action. You hold this down to record. Nothing happened. So how about power? Okay, I've hit power. Alright, everything seems to be on. Now action. Right now it would appear that I am capturing video. It's flashing up here on the action button. The uh, voice thing is working here on the camera and we have power. So now we're going to jump off of this camera and we're going to see some footage of this assuming it actually is working. Okay it is working apparently this is obviously a voiceover because i had no sound uh after i downloaded the video i'm actually sitting in front of a laptop right now watching this with you guys now i will say the quality of the picture is pretty darn good and the width of it if you will or the view is pretty good it's a bit disappointing that we don't have any volume. I'm not sure why. I'll have to research that a little bit. But supposedly, you can talk while you're recording with this camera. I mean, that's what that microphone means on the camera itself. So I'm not quite sure why it didn't pick it up. But I'll play this for a couple minutes just so you guys can get an idea of what it actually looks like out on the road. Okay, here we are just getting ready to jump on to a 55 mile an hour road. And my idea with this was to see how clear the sound was with wind noise and road noise and stuff like that from the truck. Obviously, it's pretty darn clear because I'm doing a voiceover here. So, uh, it kind of defeated the purpose there. But, nonetheless, this will give you an idea of what it looks like traveling down the road uh, with this camera on. And very disappointing that it didn't record audio, but that could be something that I did. Not exactly sure why. The only thing I can think is that my iPhone connected to the radio via Bluetooth, and that kind of stopped it from recording the whole system. I'm not exactly sure. So I'll try it again with the camera, my phone that is, off, uh, not connected to the radio, and see if we get some volume through it that way. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I'm pretty impressed. The video is enhanced a little bit through my editing software. I did up the brightness just a little bit. It was a little bit dark, uh, but not much. Pretty clear picture. I'm very impressed with it, and I think it definitely would be handy if you ever had any issues on the road and needed to have some sort of video evidence. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the picture, operation, and the camera itself. I'd be very curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.